All right, ready? All right, so our newest clamp is the AP ratchet clamp. It works on the same dovetail profile as our original uh, dovetail clamp, and it features the same AP technology, the spring here, as our AP clamp. You can see this spring under my finger. So what the spring does is it preloads the clamp so that the head doesn't move once you set it where you want it. Unlike this one where the head can drop and that makes it sometimes hard to work with. So here we can set the head to whatever position we want. So I can slide it in, lock it down, and pull the bar and it's locked. One of the advantages of this type of ratchet clamp, if somebody has uh, not great hand grip, you know, if, if their grip is not very strong, this clamp allows, you can use your whole arm to clamp it. You don't have to grip it tightly, you can just pull it with your fingers. So for people who have grip issues, this is a good, this is a big advantage. The other thing is that uh, regular clamps with Acme screws like this one are very useful and we certainly make our share of them. But if you're doing something like power carving or belt sanding or uh, grinding, the vibration can sometimes make this come loose. Whereas the ratchet clamp cannot come loose once it's been locked until you pull that trigger. So it will not vibrate loose. That's one of the advantages of this type of ratchet clamp. Now where I think this ratchet clamp really excels is in the upside down condition. I'll bring this over there. So here we've got kind of a clear version of a saw uh, guide. And one of the things I don't like is when you lock the saw guide down, every time you release this, it falls to the bottom. And so every time I'm using my track saw, I've got to reset this every time I move my guide. Over here, I can set this, and then I can release it. It's not gonna fall, and then I can just reset it again, and then release it, move this around, and set it again. It doesn't fall down every time you release it. So I really like this in applications where the gravity is going to so maybe on the bottom of my drill press table fence, or I make my router table fences that clamp to the edge of the router table rather than in a groove, this would work very well because I can loosen it and it's not gonna fall out and have to re be reset every time I'm just making a minor adjustment. Does that also fit in the Festool truck? We don't say that it does. It actually will slide into the Festool track, but it catches at the bend where the uh, where oh, the, the, slide the all the so way it'll through. slide into but not beyond the end. And, and yeah. the other problem that we worry about is the Festool and other tracks are aluminum with a flat bottom coming across where the opening is. Ours has a dovetail profile. If you clamp it the wrong way, you can the wedge can actually damage that aluminum, and we don't encourage people to do that. Um, now, one of the things you could do is if you let's say you had a, a, a track clamp that you're already using that has the ratchet mechanism, but doesn't have the AP clamp like this, the AP spring, you can take this head off and put it on your Festool or other track clamp, and then you'll have the spring technology. You'd have to buy a second clamp to do it, but you can you can do that, and then it would work with your Festool. Nice, nice. All right. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome. I'm glad to have been of service.